night. Now today's video is sponsored by Dizel Services. So make sure you do check them out. The links will be down below in the description. So they do got way cheaper deals than what Rockstar will ever offer. So make sure you do check them out. And the first purchase, make sure you do use code Frozzy so you get 5% off. Alrighty guys, now in today's GTA 5 online video, I'll be showing you how to get the scuba tank on any outfit that you prefer on GTA 5 online. Now, before we start today's video off, I am telling you that I am doing a model account giveaway that ends on the 30th, so if you do want to enter, here's the way to enter on screen. So first, go ahead and subscribe. Second, turn post notifications on. Third, like today's video. Fourth, watch the whole video. And lastly, all you want to do is just go ahead and follow my Instagram, which is Friday Glitches. Now, as soon as you follow my Instagram, just go ahead and message me saying you've done all the steps. And I'll say you've entered the giveaway, easy as that. So let's go ahead and get straight into this GTA 5 online clothing glitch on how to get a scuba tank on any outfit. Now, in this glitch, you will be losing all your outfits, so just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and get straight into this. So the first thing you guys want to do is just go ahead, go to pause, go to online, go to swap character. And you guys will need a female character in your second slot. It doesn't matter what level it is, as long as you have a female character in your second slot, and you will be deleting the second character later on in the video. So you guys see we have a male character right now in our second slot, but he hasn't even been edited or started yet, so we're going to go ahead and edit him and turn him into a female character. If you guys get this alert, just go ahead and accept it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and change him into a female character. Same continue. Name him whatever. And just go ahead and take a picture. Now you will eventually load into a Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack cutscene, so I'll go ahead and meet back with you guys when we get past that. Alright, now once you have spawned in on your female character, what you want to do is just go ahead, go to pause, go to the map, and see if you have clothing stores on the map. Now you guys see I have them right here. So if you don't have them, all you're going to do is just go ahead, find a new session, and eventually you guys will have clothing stores. So I'll go ahead and meet you guys at a clothing store. Alright, now once you get to a clothing store, just go ahead and copy the same exact outfit that I have on right now. So the first thing you guys want to do is just go ahead and make your way to the accessory section. You guys want to go to gloves and put on the light woodland tactical. 12 out of 62. Now once you have that on, just go ahead and make your way to earrings and put on the B&W Deco earrings. 40 out of 44. Alright, now once you have that on, Let's go ahead and make our way towards the pants section. You guys want to go to sports pants and put on the spotted muscle pants. One out of 54. As soon as you have that, let's go ahead and make your way to the top section. You guys want to go to sports pants. Go all the way down to the bottom until you guys see the sea green puffer jacket. 99 out of 110. And once you have that on, let's go ahead and make your way towards tank tops. And you guys want to get the white Jolly Roger tank. 19 out of 99. Alright, now once you have this on, let's go ahead and go to interaction menu, go to inventory, go to body armor. I put show armor on heavy armor. And as soon as you got that, let's go ahead and make your way to the shoes section here. You guys want to go to sneakers and put on the pink plain high tops. 2 out of 18. And as soon as you put these on, let's go ahead. Hit edit saved outfits, which is square for me, and save it in your first slot. I'm going to go ahead and name it tank. And once you have that, all you guys want to do from here, just go ahead, get an interaction menu, and hit kill yourself. And as soon as you spawn back in, all we're going to do is just go ahead, go to pause, go to online, 
go to creator and start that up all right now once you get into creator what you want to do is just go ahead create a race and do a land race now as soon as you spawn into the map here all you guys want to do is just go ahead go to pause go to the map and you guys want to warp all the way down towards the airport to make this a lot easier let's go ahead and do that all right now once you get here what you want to do is just go ahead and do the steps so let's do race details first so go ahead and name the title whatever you want the description doesn't matter as you guys see I'm just naming it AAUU let's go ahead and take a photo alright now what you want to do is just go ahead and put the maximum players on three you guys want to put the route type to point to point and go ahead and put the default class on super and once you have done that let's go ahead and make your way towards the placement go ahead and place the trigger go ahead and take a picture again let's go ahead put some checkpoints out so I think it's got to be a total of 0.65 of a mile for the race length requirements so we're just gonna go ahead and go down this airport strip here that's why I told you to go to the airport it makes this a lot easier so you guys see we're at 0.46 right now and there we go 0.62 we're just gonna go ahead and do one more and there we go we got 0.72 of a mile which met the requirements and all you're going to do after you do the placement section is go ahead and test the race. Now this race shouldn't take you long. It should take you about 30 seconds. Now I could have chose a better car than the Adder to make this faster as well, but this is just an administration. Alright, so we're coming up on the race. It took us 29 seconds. Go ahead and accept this alert. And as soon as you spawn back to this screen right here, just go ahead and go to pause. Go to online. And you guys want to choose a character. Alright, now as soon as you get into the character screen, just go ahead, go to your second character, and you're going to delete it. Now it's going to ask you to type in delete to confirm it. So there we go. Now, all we're going to do from here is return to GTA 5 Online and do not click on any of the characters that you have on your screen. Just go ahead and hit circle and return to GTA 5 Online. Now, it should return us back to story mode. So I'll go ahead and meet you guys when we spawn back into story mode. Alright, now once you get into story mode, all you guys want to do is just go ahead, go to pause, go to online. Play GTA 5 Online and set up a brand new invite only session. And I'll meet you guys when we spawn back in to GTA 5 Online. Alright, now once you spawn in, all you're going to do is just go ahead and make your way to a clothing store and go to the outfit section. As soon as you get here, just go ahead, click Edit Saved Outfits, and you guys should see you have that tank in your first slot. So go ahead and save the outfit that you have on right now in your 10th slot. I'm gonna go ahead and name it white because I'm all white. All right, now that you saved your outfit that you want the tank on, all you want to do from here is just go ahead, go to pause, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, go to versus, and start up Crooked Cop. All right, now as soon as you guys get into the Crooked Cop loading screen, just go ahead and put the clothing on player owned. And you're gonna go ahead and get another person inside the lobby and as soon as you do that all we're gonna do is just go ahead and start it up all right now once you get to this screen right here all you're gonna do is just go ahead go down to own the outfit switch it once to the right it should be the tank and it should be on the outfit that you have so as you guys see we're just gonna go ahead ready up And when you spawn in, you should have a yellow tank on your back inside this job. So 
So we're going to go ahead and show you that right now, as you guys see. Now, all you want to do from here is just go ahead and get an interaction menu, go to style, go to accessories, and go ahead and put on an earpiece. And as soon as you do that, let's go ahead and quit the job through your phone. And I'll see you when we spawn back into free mode. Alright, now once you guys spawn in, you guys should spawn near an ammunition store. So all we're going to do is just go ahead go to the outfit section and save this as an outfit in slot 2 so we're going to name this tanks and as soon as we named it let's go ahead and delete that outfit that's in our first slot and there you guys have it so that's how you guys get the scuba tank on any outfit that you prefer on GTA 5 online so, I hope you guys liked today's video. This has been your boy Frosty back at another GTA 5 online glitch to help you guys out. And I'm out. Peace.